to that. What is it that you have against gays and lesbians marrying? Well, this issue here is the definition of marriage for centuries in this country and elsewhere around the world in every major world religion has identified marriage as, as between a man and a woman and that's the simple issue here and uh, as Senator DeMint did note uh, the research is very clear that uh, the ideal would for raising our children should be the issue here and and that's that's what we need to focus on in this debate right but Justice Kennedy speaks to this there's also research that indicates everybody talks about the interests of children children tend to prosper in loving it, it, in, in homes where there is a loving marriage, right? I mean, there is really not evidence to suggest uh, that if you are a same-sex couple or a heterosexual couple, uh, that it makes one difference one way or the other. <clears throat> Well, actually, the research does not show that. Actually, the research is very clear, as uh, as we have indicated here. But uh, what the no, but, that, but let's say the, everybody throws that out. In fact, no, no, the research actually shows that in broken homes, it hurts the children, which I think most people would say that would be true with same-sex couples Absolutely. or heterosexual couples. We don't really know, do we? But we do have a sense that loving marriages provides a, a good family life for children, right? Well, we have an epidemic of fatherlessness here, and that's what I agree with the president on. And we should be doing more to promote and protect marriage as between a man and a woman uh, for the needs of our children. In this decision, the desires of adults, the court de decided the desires of adults should trump the needs of children. And that's what's gotten lost in all the politics, all the debate, all the hand-wringing in Washington, D.C.